he found that the reporting requirements uh, are very confusing, that there's statutes that come into play that seem uh, to confuse those who would try to obey the law. He found that uh, citizens who try to report their activities sometimes are confused about how that would occur. And so what he set out to do was to create a seamless reporting system to guarantee that Kentuckians know where these monies are spent, that guarantees that Kentuckians know who is in charge of these various entities, how to get a hold of them, when they meet, all the basic requirements that we all want to see uh, happen when we deal with tax dollars. And it's a great credit, I think, to the work and effort that he and his staff put into this. Um, but this is not a bill that's in response to bad conduct. Now, we've heard the stories about a few bad actors in the past few years in some of the larger boards. This bill is really a tribute to the honesty and the dedication of all those other Kentuckians who serve in all those other boards who, regardless of the confusing, uh, in the words of Auditor Edlin, muddling morass of statutes, have done their jobs efficiently, trust, in a trustworthy manner, and in a lawful manner as well. And it's a tribute to them. And I think we ought to all give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They serve almost with no compensation. Um, House Bill 1 sets up and clarifies the reporting requirements, the auditing standards. It does add some teeth to compliance. Uh, it establishes education and ethics provisions for the individual so that they won't uh, get in any trouble uh, inadvertently. Uh, it's a step, I think, in the right direction toward bringing some sanity to how these statutes interact with each other. I've heard uh, Auditor Edlin say that many of these statutes were enacted while Teddy Roosevelt was charging up San Juan Hill.